Hello, thank you for watching this video. Today we talk about the questions we meet in this week. First, uh, we watch this video from a customer. He told me that he just want full output current, but he cannot get the full output current unless he raise the output voltage. You can see in this video, uh, he sets 4.2 volt and 6.1 ampere and short the output terminals. Normally it should be CC mode, constant current mode, and the current should be 6.1 ampere. Uh, but the problem is that his cable resistance is about 1.8 ohm, so that the cable he uses equals to a load. If he needs four current output in this way, the output cables need to be replaced with good uh, cables. Uh, you can see uh, here I set the thin 4.2 volt and 6.1 ampere. And I short the output terminals. You can see here it is CC mode and 6.1 ampere uh, output. You can calculate it in this way. Uh, voltage uh, divide current, you can see the cable resistance. Then it is about the battery charging. Our power supply adopts CC to CV mode charging and the voltage and the current is set by yourself. You need to know the battery type and the capacity to set the right value. Uh, at first, when the battery has no power, it will use CC mode to charge, charge the battery until the battery voltage reaches the peak voltage. There will be a question. Since the current is constant, the voltage drop happened on the cable is constant too. Uh, especially when you use a large current to charge a big capacity battery, the voltage drop happened on the cable uh, will be large. Uh, for example, you are charging a 3.7 volt DC battery. You set a 4.2 volt to charge, and the voltage drop on the cable is 0 0.1 volt. When it turns to CV mode, for example, it reaches 4.2 volt here to charge the battery, and it turns to CV mode. Actually. Uh, the battery voltage has not reached the peak voltage. So that you need to uh, use a good cable to charge the battery. But since uh, it will switch to the CV mode, at that time the charging current will decrease with the time going. Then the voltage drop on the cable will decrease too. It can still charge the battery to almost full power status, but it will take a longer time and uh, the power loss on the cable uh, will be higher. It is still recommended to use uh, wet cables. You can just use it in this way to check the cable resistance first. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching this video.